Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, P-Pow Picks Edition. And uh, this is late getting out because my last one didn't have any volume. <laughs> Somebody told me down the bottom I didn't have any volume. Funny thing, I got more views on that one than any of them. Yeah, so I guess that's where what I got to do. It's not put volume. I'm kidding. Anyways, uh, thanks for subscribing, God boys and girls. Oh my gosh, Melissa and Hernandez are going crazy in the Pearlocopter, sending you your My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. <laughs> going up, I'm trying to hit a thousand. If I hit a thousand, then uh, you can start making money on YouTube and stuff like that, and it gives me more opportunity to be able to bring you this fine programming. I gotta do this really quick though, so we're gonna go to our games yesterday. Um, also, thanks for going on, uh, getting your free month on Patreon. If you go into the bio, I'll give you, you, it'll bring you right to the Patreon app, to my channel on the Patreon app. Sign up for the premium package, the uh, um, lar the uh, large tier, $25 tier, and I'll reimburse you right away. And if you don't like it, you can quit and it won't cost you a dime. So head over there. Okay, let's go to yes. We're going to go to yesterday's picks. we got to do this quick because i got to get it out so you guys have your picks. Right? You want your picks. Okay, scores. Yesterday. We'll go to yesterday's games. Um, Islanders versus Sabres. We had the uh, Islanders to win for large, large pearls. Or those are units, if you don't know. I don't know how anybody would know that by now, but those are units. Uh so say three units if you want, whatever your large is. I'll say three for the sake of this. A half a unit on the under, so we didn't get that. Um, so we put three units on Islanders and Reg, so we're up like 90, what, 270, 360, okay? Something like that, 260, three times. Yeah, you figure it out. Anyways, we're up. <laughs> Rangers, Rangers. we had uh, for small pearls for half a unit. We also had the under for half a unit, so it's pretty much a wash. Uh, Hurricanes, we got our, I got our, my butt handed to me here too. I didn't follow my gut on this one. I should have known Bobrovsky was going to let a couple in. Uh, and uh, But the Hurricanes were supposed to be really tired, but they didn't play like it. We had Wings PL for half a unit and we had large units on here so basically we broke even up until now um flyers versus penguins we had uh flyers m ml and the over for a unit so we're up two units something like that maybe a little less than two units uh jets versus uh canadians that was stressful by the way flyers came back in third period and made it got that in for us i'm a flyers fan too so it was even more stressful uh, Jets versus the Canadian. We had two units or so on uh, the Jets. They won. We also had a unit on the over. They won. So now we're up like several units, right? Uh, Lightning versus we had large units on the under and one unit on or half a unit on Blackhawks PL, which was paying 170, which was more than the Lightning. Uh, was getting on the ML, and I really thought it was going to be a close game, right about where it was, actually. Uh, you can actually, if you can see what um, my, my score predictions are, if you go to my show, which comes up in uh, about two, one and a half hours from now, from the time I'm doing this video, but it's 3 Eastern till 5 Eastern in the afternoon, every five days a week. I do a Perla Wisdom show, and you can come on there and give your predictions and tell me what you're picking, and we talk about all the on good things going on in hockey. Then we look back at our how our predictions did, how the games went. We talk everything, trades, rumors, all of it. You can go check that out. I'd love to have you. It's a blast. Panthers versus Preds. We had the Panthers on large, large pearls. So like four pearls, huge. We like this one. And they came in, and we had for half a pearl, we had the under, we had that wrong. So we're up a lot. Uh, Blue Jackets versus uh, Stars, we had uh, half, we had, what did we have? A unit on the black Blue Jackets and uh, medium pearls on the under. Two units on the under, and they both came in. Up, up, up. Super large pearls on the Flames we had. 
We had a very large pearl. No, sorry, we didn't. We had two units on the flames to win. I apologize. I thought we had super large. Two units that came in and a half a unit on the under, and we were wrong on the under. But we had, we're still up on that game. We had two units on the under here and a half a unit on the Leafs, which I'm really kicking myself because I thought this is a good spot for the Canucks, but I couldn't pull the trigger on it. I, I, I hate it when that happens. When you look back and go, why, 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 why did you talk yourself out of that? Although it was only for a small amount, but I just like to be right. I just like to be right. Okay, let's look at our picks for today, shall we? Uh, Washington, Boston. I'm not putting much on this at all. Maybe a unit tops. It's pretty much a coin flip game. And these are games where if it's a coin flip game to me, uh, in the long term, you're going to be up money by taking the dog. And I don't even like, like, do you, Washington's getting great juice for a coin flip here. 231 you can get on opening. I don't think you're going to find that anywhere higher than that. No, that's a great one. Opening app. Highly recommend this if you play dogs. They give you lots of juice on dogs. More than most people so most of the time. Um, so I'm going to take Washington ML. And I'm going to go under on this game. Mostly because... It's Halak, and it, they just have been playing under a lot. That's the only reason why. Um, not for huge, though, like half a pearl. Tampa versus Chicago. Um, we just talked about this game, how I took Chicago PL next last time, but it looks like it's going to be McElhaney versus Subban here. Subban is the question mark with me. Um, he, he was playing really well the last two games. He did not play well. Over his whole career, he pretty much has not played well. I'm going to lean that he's not going to play well, and I'm going to take Tampa Bay here in regulation, although McElhaney is going to be in net, so you get about 180 for that. I'm not putting huge on it. Chicago is just playing way too well to be putting large money on Tampa Bay here. They could very well come back, but on, in the third period yesterday, Tampa really, uh, really slaughtered Chicago, honestly. And I just think that confidence of how they did that in the third is going to carry on to this game. And Tampa's going to win that. I, I'm i saying in reg, but I'm a little iffy on the in reg. I would rather just go money line and maybe put it in a parlay. Arizona, Minnesota. Minnesota's just played stupid amounts of hockey. Arizona is a very tough team to play against. Um I've been back and forth on this. I've really been back and forth. Again, maybe I should just answer myself and say, sort of coin flippish, take Arizona ML with a unit. I wouldn't put a lot on this game no matter what. Uh, the, I, I, go, I would go to the over because it, even though it doesn't make sense a lot of the time, Minnesota just plays over, over, over. I think they're 90% over all year. So you might as well just keep rolling with it. Colorado versus Anaheim. Anaheim is a resilient team as a whole. However, they are very injured on their D-line. Uh, how is are they just going to keep on rolling with their Gibson constantly? Grubauer is in for sure. Grubauer has been playing very well. Um, the question I've been doing on this one is the total. If Gruauer plays as well as, like, he wasn't playing well, he crapped the bed, then he came back and played extremely well. It's almost like the two things with Grubauer. It's one or the other. It's not much in between. I'm going to bank that he plays extremely well here. And uh, so Anaheim doesn't really have much scoring power. So I'm going to go the under uh, with, uh, put, it, put a unit on the under and uh, put a, maybe a unit and a half or so on Colorado in regulation because I think you have to do that to get much juice. Yeah, that would probably be about 175, 170, something like that in regulation. Um, St. Louis versus Los Angeles. I'm taking Los Angeles here. Uh, St. Louis is so beat up and they're, uh, the, the bookies are undervaluing Los Angeles at home all the time. Getting 217, you can get 217 on bet online on that. I take it. Take it and go money line. Uh, St. Louis, I believe Bennington is going to be in net, and he's been meh. 
I'm a little less liking this. I put less money on it if Quick is. If more, if uh, Pedersen is in, then I'll probably put a full two units or maybe even go large on this. San Jose versus Vegas. Um, I got to go Vegas. I got I got to go Vegas. Now, goaltending has not been confirmed, and that's the difficult part because this is a back-to-back. -back. Are they going to go with their number ones here? If they are, it's going to be Flurry versus uh, Jones. Jones has been playing a little better this year, but I think Vegas can light them up still pretty good with that poor defense of San Jose. The question is, can San Jose score enough on on uh, Flurry to get a total of six? Um, I'm on the fence here. I'll take Vegas for large and maybe put a unit on the over here um, just because both of these teams can score. And uh, Vegas should be rushing this defense a lot. If they decide to play their down pressure aggressive game against San Jose, they're going to get so many chances. And then you're depending on Jones to be able to do something. However, that could also be a 5 nothing game. So one unit on the over, that's what I'm doing. Uh, thank you. For, that's my full 42% boys and girls. I got it. Uh, well, you don't want to see that. Where are we here? Um, I got to head out here. There we go. I got to head out here. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.